Welcome back to this temporary setup. It is delivery day, my favorite day. Delivery day. And today we've got a absolute corker. Um, I spent most of yesterday looking online um, for loads of different bits to build up my first cinema rig because I've got a lot of exciting projects coming up with brands. Um, and yeah, it's time to level up. So I've bought a load of stuff. And I want you to unbox it all and show you today. Let's go. Oh, here we go. So, first of all, camera. Sony Cinema Line FX3. This is a big upgrade on my A7 IV that I currently shoot with. I think this is gonna be able to last me a good few years at least and get some really great work out of it. So, let's have a look. Inside the box, you get your warranty. Box looks very simple. Open up the sides, we have a USB-C to USB-A power cable, nice. Uh, you have the manuals and things like that, nice and simple. And, oh yeah baby. This is the top handle where you can have multiple XLR inputs for your audio, this is gonna be really handy. We have got a battery charger, power adapters, we have a battery, Sony MPZ battery, that's good. A little hot shoe mount, and this. This is the main event, so you guys are gonna see this for the first time. This is the Sony FX3. How does that bad boy look? Top, front, Bottom. Oh, and it feels so good already, just in the hand. I've got an upcoming documentary that I'm gonna be filming, so I'm very excited to be using this in a rig. Because I need two cameras to be shooting at different angles and potentially similar focal lengths, I have also had to invest in a new lens. Really simple with a lens unboxing. Um, it's just a nice uh, travel case, a strap for the case, and then a lovely lens. This is the Mark II. I've used the Mark I before. This does seem lighter than the Mark I, but you cannot beat a lovely new lens. That's going to pair up very nice on the FX3. The diameter on this is 82mm and the ND filter that I have is 67 so I also had to to get another ND filter. So this is the variable Peter McKinnon ND. This is the Mark II. And the Mark I I've used for a long, long time. This is a very nice case, wow. Oh, oh that's satisfying. What good quality that is, oh my goodness. This is the cover. <gasps> what? The front piece here, this is a, a lens cap, basically, a, a rubber rubber hood, which can come off like this, like so. Uh, that's the filter, but the filter's got, so the back of it is this. That's to keep it safe instead of a case. Just to give you a bit of context, this is the first one. Came in, a, in an actual box like this, which is a bit of a ball ache, because you have to carry this around. And then when you've got this and you want to take it off the camera, you have to put it down and you end up scratching it. That's so good. Simple as that. Yes, Peter McKinnon. Yes, Polar Pro. Let's see, we've got a package here. This is from, well, this might be a USB kit. Yes, okay, so this is just a USB-C for tethering. Really good uh, for when I can shoot in a studio and see all of the photos that I'm getting when I use like Capture One or the Sony imaging preview. So that's all that is, nice and simple. What is this? Oh, this is the small rig matte box, mini matte box. This is to go on the front of this cinema rig and it actually takes variable NDs within it. So that's why I wanted that because I didn't want to just slide in other square ND filters. I really like using the variable ones. So here we go, this is what you get in the box. Oh, don't let it drop out. Very simple, really lightweight. Twist this knob, goes tight, that's what she said. 
paddle go on the front. Lovely, lovely bit of kit. Nice and simple, very lightweight. This rig is gonna be cool. Next we have some MP, uh, MPFZ, I always forget the F, MPFZ uh, 100 batteries. Having some extra batteries uh, will be useful for the A74. Maybe not for this, and I'll show you why in a minute. We also have a CF Express Tough, Sony Tough, 160 gigabytes. I used that in the A74, um, and I wanted to make sure that I had the same, if not better, card. So I'm going with the same for now. Might need to get a better one eventually, but I don't want to have to sell my kidney to buy it because they are very expensive. This is a small rig cage for the FX3. Um, and it will allow you to mount different things to it, even though you've already got uh, mounting points on the camera. This uh, adds a lot more versatility and you can build this out fully into a cinema rig. Uh, but this also has the extension for the top handle because that top handle is um, apparently short, but actually holding it immediately, I can sort of see what those guys mean. Like if you want to hold it, it does feel pretty short. So um, it has an extension handle and the cage and a little uh, leather strap to hold around the side. So that's cool. We've also got a little HDMI for um, what's coming soon. What is this? This is small rig cold shoe mount to go on top of the handle. And then we also have a V mount battery plate. Last thing to show you is this, which is the small rig V mount battery. This is a 99 watt hour battery. I've got a FX Lion as well. So between this and the FX Lion, I can shoot for approximately 10,000 years um, without running out of power. That is an exaggeration. 56% power already. Um, the great thing about these is they have the uh, D-Tap, which is what I will use to power my monitor or um, either, either that other camera. They also have USB-C, USB-A, 12 and 8 volts um, outputs. So lots of versatility there. And the screen looks really nice, doesn't it? Look at that, posh, dead nice. So that's gonna go on the back of there. What else have we got? Last, last box now, I think. Boom, we have got this. The Atomos Shinobi. Now, most people go with the Ninja 5 um, because they want to record. But to me, um, a monitor was all I needed. I just needed to be able to see what I'm shooting, especially for things like the dream build videos that I'm doing. Um, sometimes something looks absolutely bang in focus, really close up um, on, on my camera. And then when I get it back into the edit, it's not. And I have to then change the shot or pick something else, which can be frustrating. So this is gonna help me massively. Um, oh, I can't get the damn thing out. Come on! There we go, right. There it is. That is what you get. You get the monitor, lovely thing. It is plastic, like a composite plastic. So you've got different adapters for your plugs, and then you've got a dummy battery to basically plug it in uh, by a mains, which I don't know where, in what scenario you'd do that. Anyway, doesn't matter. I've got a dummy battery and I'll be using that. There you are then, that's everything for the rig. Uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me build it up yet, don't worry, there will be a separate video on that. There are a lot of FX3 cinema rig videos out there, so I'm not gonna go too much like those, I'm just gonna show you what it is and some of the examples that I've shot on it. So that won't be for a while. Um, I've got a few projects coming up over the next few months, so maybe back towards the back end of the year, we'll have some cool examples of some cycling documentaries and, and cycling ads and, and stuff for Instagram that I can show you that I've shot on this so you can see what the colors are like. Um, and if you think it looks any better than what we're shooting on here. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, smash the like button, subscribe for more content around mainly bikes, don't worry, uh, but sometimes around photography and videography. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Peace.